Good evening, you are joining me live on my channel. This is Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. I've come on and I've already got a thumbs up. Thank you very much. You can do that now. You can do it during the video if you see something you like, or you could do it at the end or on the replay. <laughs> Thank you to all those of you who do give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. Comments are particularly appreciated because it just means that people help. It helps people to find the videos and... Um, it helps me to get feedback from what you think of the projects that I've made. So welcome and hello. And I've gone and forgot my other device. So I'm going to just try and catch comments when I see them. So welcome, welcome. Glad to have your company. Now, a few weeks ago for Valentine's Day, I made these boxes here. And um, I don't have the details of where I got the original design from, but I kind of adapted it a bit to put this window in it. So... Um, I'm going to do something similar, but do it with poppies, the painted poppies stamp set here from Stampin' Up. So if you're interested in getting this stamp set, it comes with matching dies to actually cut out all the bits if you've got a die cutting machine. And it's available on my online shop at stampinstarcreations.co.uk. I'm just going to shove that down so you can see the address. So I'm going to pretty much get straight into it tonight. I've got a few things I'd like to cover with you if I can and if I remember. Um, so I'm going to... Do the register, say hello to everybody. I'm just going to move my piercing mat from under there. It's got a very bumpy surface tonight. Right, that's not what I need. I need the other bit. Need these bits. No, that doesn't look right. I hope that is right. Okay. Let's see who we've got in tonight. Hi, Deborah and Kay, April, Tina, Gina, Jeannie, sorry, Randy, Cindy, Linda, Christine, the other Christine, Jessica, Brenda, and Zoe. Hi, everybody. Right, so uh, the measurements, if you want them. So that's the base. That's the... Oh, I've not even given you the measurements, have I? That's... Which is the base? That's the base. The dark colours I'm using is the base and the lighter colours are the top. Hi Janice and Karen. Okay, if you want measurements, the um, the wrap around this bit here is eight inches by four and a quarter. Uh, like I said, I've done the Valentine's box already. It's on my YouTube channel, but if you really want to jot these down, this is seven... Hmm, that's kind of cut right in between there. I think that's supposed to be seven and one eighth, I think. By four and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sixteenths, something like that. See, go back and have a look on the other thing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you're poorly Kay. I did enjoy my pancakes, thank you. Anyone else have pancakes today? Right, let's get scoring. So, I'm going to do the easy one first. So the base, I, I like to call the base my, my whatever colour I'm using, and then because I like to stamp the outside of the box. So nice and easy, one and a quarter all the way around. So, you know, even I can do that. <laughs> one and a quarter all the way around okay nice and easy so that already you can see is going to form hi navarana but form the basic box really really easy so then i'm going to work on the top so scoring on the long side at one and a quarter again Three and three quarters, five inches. So this isn't complicated either, and seven and a half. Once you've cut out your card, the scoring is not too too tricksy at all. So snips. We're cutting there again, nice and easy, straight up your score line where it meets and then just cutting a diagonal out of there so that when you come to glue and fold this you don't have overlapping this 
this bit actually does really help. You'd be surprised. It's amazing how snipping away a tiny bit of card can make all the difference. So go up to the score line where it meets and cutting across. Hi there, Cheryl. I'm not too bad, thank you. How are you today? So in fact, I might glue these now so that... Um, welcome, Brenda and Carol. No, not risky at all. <laughs> right, I'm going to glue these. I should have creased these a bit better than I have in my bone folder, but there you go. That's okay, I understood. I've had worse typos. So I'm literally just gluing the flaps down. So I'm doing this now, and so it's got a little bit of a chance to dry. Try and get to the edges a bit, Esther. And then I can work on the other part of my box. So I probably could have cut away a bit more there. Okay, so that's the base. Then what you're left with is this. Now she grabs for her bone folder. And we're going to crease these. Now, because of the nature of the box and because I'm punching a hole in the box to create a window, normally you would hide your seam. Let me just bring you in a little bit. Normally you would want to tuck this away and have that out of sight, out of the way. But because we need access to, to get to it... Now, which punch did I use before? I think it might have been the one and three quarters. Okay, I'm going to show you... Now we're going to stamp first, punch later. I'm getting ahead of myself, folks. I'm just looking for my... Knight of Navy, which is sat next to me. Okay, we're going to go in with a row of poppies. Doesn't fit on there. Bring back my... I do like my piercing mat. So we're working on this bit with the thin strip because it means I can feed the punch through here. If I fold that flap over, I can feed the punch in. Now, if I was working on this side, it'd be a lot more difficult to feed that through. Okay, so that's why we are working on this side. Hi there, Steph. Hi, Anne-Marie. This might look a little bit familiar, Anne-Marie. <laughs> so I'm going in with the Knight of Navy and using the field of poppies. But stick with us because I've got more to show. Welcome, Debbie. Do shout if you're new or you're catching me live for the first time. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. So don't worry about stamping off because that will be covered. Okay. Now, while we're here, we're going to stamp another poppy. I'm going to do a here's one I made earlier, I think, as well. But just to show you. I'm going to leave that on the block because I might use that in a minute. And because it's quite a small project, I'm going to go in with the um, smaller one. Why not use a circle die to cut it out with? Yes, you can. Okay, that is a good idea that I didn't think about. Uh, you can use it, but I think for the sake of my class, I used the punch. Why didn't I think of that? I don't know. <laughs> Yep, you can use a circle die if you've got it. If you haven't, you can use a punch. I'm just checking that I've got the two same colours. So I'm keeping it nice and monochrome. So going in with our dark colour. Now, sometimes initially when you lay down these colours, you think, oh no, it's a bit too dark. You can't see the stamping. But just trust the fact that these colours do lighten up. And they're not as um, dark as you might initially um, see them. <laughs> no, you're right, Kay. 
it is a good thought. And to help blend the colour, you want to kind of like go around in little circles. Sometimes I like to leave a bit of white space where I've stamped. One, it means that you don't have to be too precise. Two, it just kind of adds something to the look. I could even go in with another colour actually. Gonna, no, I'm gonna leave it there. I think this is this always comes out a bit darker initially and then it lightens up. It's not like the one that I've got over there, <laughs> which I'll show you in a minute. Did you guys see that? I was too busy colouring in, I don't know if I was off screen. Hi there, Donny. Look, should I show you the one? There you go, look at the difference. I think I might have used just the light colour for that one. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to use my brush tip again because... Now remember, you are going to be punching some of this out, but it is worth doing the colouring. Well, this is just the lighter one, actually. It is worth colouring in because you can use that circle that you cut out for something else. I know why, Kay. I was just thinking about your question about why don't you just use a dye. Because um, I wanted to, when I made the original Valentine's ones, I wanted to use the um, heart punch. That was why. I knew there was some reason behind my madness. There usually is. So just giving those a touch of colour. I think blue poppies exist. Look at that difference. That does look really different, doesn't it? I've used the dark one there. Maybe I've coloured it a bit more. I don't know. Okay, so in order to help you find the middle, I'm sure somebody else has done this, but you know, there's always somebody else that can learn. I'm grabbing out, um, let's grab out a couple of post-it notes because the punches don't like it when it's too thin a paper. And I want the sticky end. Or did somebody tell me about this on my other video? I can't remember. But we're gonna punch those out. And it means that you can find the middle of your box without guesstimating. I think this is a great tip. So just stick your post-it note there. Then you can go in with your punch and as if by magic. So this bit needs to be folded over in order to feed your punch in. So I can slightly off. Let's go up a little bit. Oh, that sounds good, doing a bit of crafting tomorrow. Hi there, Sheila. So you put your punch in and where you see your circle, you just punch on top of it and you know that that is roughly in the middle. You might catch the post-it note a little bit, but not to worry, at least you've kind of aimed for the centre of your project. And you've only like taken a nick out of there, which doesn't matter at all. And you've got that circle to use, okay? I'm gonna put that to one side minute. I'm going to use this that I've cut out earlier to save on time. I'm going to find my leaves. There's one. Where's the other one? Uh, where are you gone? Stop hiding. Hi Wendy, don't worry about being late. The fact is you're here. <laughs> right, I'm going to grab out my tweezers and we're going to bend these old leaves put a bit of texture and this one like so um now to kind of portion this up a little bit i've got to pre-cut some window sheets now you're going to ask me how big this is aren't you it's the length of the box so i'll get out my posh ruler and that's two and a half inches by four and three quarters. Oh, life is made easier with my ruler. And this is going to pop underneath. You've got that window without having a hole right the way through your box. So a little bit of tear and tape on either side will do the trick. I just thought it'd be nice to show you an alternative to the box by using the poppy stamp set and seeing what else you can do with it. And I really like the poppies in the blue. Lovely kind of classic colour, especially with the very vanilla 
um, card as well. So we're just going to stick the that window sheet. Get it right, Esther. Whoa. No, don't stick just yet. I'm not ready. Okay, there we go. And then the poppy. I'm going to stick these down. I might pop him up on dimensionals. You love blue poppies. Where did I get the ruler from? Um, of Amazon. I had it on my list for a while and so, oops, popped it down in there. And um, I'm so pleased I got it. Somebody bought it for me off my Amazon list. <laughs> I put it as high priority. I was like, I need the ruler. So handy. So, so handy. Okie dokes. Now, as I've been organised, I think you can be too organised. <laughs> I've put, put all my bits in this box. I like poppies in the blue, kind of over all the red and yellow ones. Ah, oh. now I'm going to pop this up on the dimensional because I think it might look nice. Um, if you want to see other coloured poppies, I have got other coloured cards that I've put on Pinterest. So go, go over there and take a look at what I've done. Not now, in a minute. Oh, now the other thing we did is rather than faff with any um, ribbon, which you could use ribbon, especially that denim ribbon would look pretty with this. I've gone in with the little baby half inch punch. Give it a good press. That will pop out your thumb doofers. Can never be too organised. I don't know. Sometimes I think you can. <laughs> now, my top, my other top tip would be to wrap the box around your your base box um, to help you get a good fit. Whereas if you glue this separately, not only does it give you support when you're gluing, but um, hopefully you'll get a, a nicer fit. So I'm going in with wet glue because then you've got wiggle room. I'm going to cover up all those bits and pieces that you're not going to see. Line that up and just let that dry. Give it a little. Now, if you wanted to, you can pop that inside your box, roughly in the center. So it could be like an added little peekaboo thing that you can see inside. The other thing that my ladies did. Oh, do you know what I've forgotten to do? I did splatters on this one. Come on, never too late. I wonder if I can squash this down. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Let's get these splatters on. Now, I think it was this beautiful colour, which is a lovely kind of like a powdery blue seaside spray. Um, I'm going to add some splats because I can. I'm going to see if I can add just a wee bit on the top. See, I sound like Janice now. <laughs> I, I start saying things that Janice says. I never say a wee bit. It's because I'm listening, listening to Janice. <laughs> yeah, seaside spray. Right. There we go. So we could save that for another little... That could be a tag. That would make a very cute tag. And I know just the punch. Um... Let's pop him in there in the hope that it... Let's just try it, shall we? Oh, look. Great. Get a bit of denim ribbon. I like this because I didn't have to hunt up my shim to make a fitting for the box. Oh, Janice is actually watching everybody. I was channeling my inner Janice and she's there listening to me, trying to... An English person saying we like a Scot Scottish person. <laughs> I've cut this too short. But hey, ho, away we go. You get the... you catch my drift. <laughs> oh, and I'll tell you what, let's not spoil it. Let's work with it. What we do is if we've cut something too short like this, we get ourselves a bit of linen 
Everyone's going to say we now because of Janice. Get a bit of linen thread and tie it on. Like this. Okay, maybe put a knot in it. If you like it, you've got to put a knot in it. I was just about to try and do a Scottish uh, impression then. I don't think I will though, Janice, because Janice is here. <laughs> so we've got a box and a tag. Let's make a matching card. Now I've got an idea that I want to do a circle through this as well. But this time I want to use a bigger sized punch. So I've got a two inch punch here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Linda, thank you. Thanks for the cute box design today. Linda's kindly super chatted me. So if you see that dollar sign in the corner, that's how she did it. Um, hi, LaDonia. Do you know, I was thinking about your name the other day and I thought, oh, I like the name LaDonia, it's very pretty. Would you stamp the tag with a splatter stamp? Of course, let's do it. What a great suggestion, Donnie. Let's do this. There you go. Does that make you happy? Doesn't that just complete it? It's a matchy matchy. Okay, great suggestion. Thank you. I'm starting to flag. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go in again with my... Now, before I came on, I had a really quick experiment to see. <coughs> Thank you, Donnie. That was great. Um, to see how far I could get this circle bunch. Now if I put it in there I think it's going to be too high on my card. If I go in sideways it doesn't quite reach the middle. So in order to make it part of the design and in order to stop my card moving about <laughs> I'm just going to grab a bit of um, <clears throat> snail, do the tiniest bit of <clears throat> a great wee splatter. That wasn't too bad, it was about half Irish there. So <laughs> I'm going to just stick that on top of where I've put my snail. This just positions it. I'm going to put this in the top left. Oh, I know. Uh, the whole idea of doing the post-it notes was so I could see where I'm going. <laughs> uh, duh. <laughs> oh, let's see. What am I like, eh? Right, the whole idea of this was so that I can position it. <laughs> right, let's try again. See, see, see? Right, the idea is that I'm going to go through both layers. So that, again, I'm going to create a window in here. So look, you can make another tag and another tag. And you can use your, you can make another card. Oh, you could do so much. <laughs> so my idea, if, remind me, was to put the window, some window sheet behind this section here. In fact, I'm just going to stick, maybe, oh no, I need to take this off to do that. To put a bit of window sheet in there, okay? Does that all make sense so far? It does in my brain. <laughs> so let's do a bit of... Now, remind me about the splatters. Let's bring you all back in, everybody. Janice will be in tomorrow afternoon. To afternoon noon, for a wee live. Janice will be in your part of the world next Hi, Janice. In my part of the world. In Wiltshire. Wiltshire. Right. If you're worried about centralising these poppies, what I suggest is stamp them. Now, you don't want to go too high because you want the stems off the page. So just bring down your stamp a wee bit. <laughs> and like get your main um, image in the middle. Are you, are you really coming down to these parts? That'd be amazing. So stamp in the middle and then, um, then you can stamp the other two on the sides, like so. There we go. All right. And then... Oh, splatters. Nearly forgot. There we go. 
splattery fields of flowers. Then actually we could do a big poppy for this. That would look nice, wouldn't it? I've got my smaller poppy there. Let's do a big poppy. For a change. Can you guys see? And then we could... Where's that other one gone that I've just stamped? Oh, it's right next to me. Everything's merging into the same colours. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll do that in the similar colours as the other one. Do you like the way I colour everybody? Nice and quick. <laughs> Donnie, you're funny. That other one hasn't lightened up. I wonder if I didn't have a different colour that I used. Is this the right colour? Light night of navy. How strange. Maybe I went a bit heavy handed, more heavy handed. Okay, dokes. Welcome to the UK. How exciting. Right, bear with while I chop these up with my dies and I'm going to cut out a couple of leaves like I did last time. I might have to have three flowers. There is another one in here that I did earlier. So bear with. So these are the matching dies so you can cut out your flowers straight away. So if I could have used, oh I wonder if that would work. I think it's too big. Would that work? Oh, look. I could cut out. I wonder if that will work. Should we try it? Okay. So let me have a think about what I'm doing. I need some Knight of Navy. Cutting out that. Cutting out those two with that. Cutting out that. And that. Bear with me while I just grab some Knight of Navy. And we're going to see if we can incorporate this amazing big dye. Yeah. So the great thing is I can just pop these all in my machine in one go. Now, what I've done here to help me differentiate where to I'm going to go around in circles all the time. I've chosen a distinct part of the flower. So here you've got the two folded petals and I've put a dot where each petal is folded so that I know that my die fits straight on top of that. So just with a permanent marker pen it is worth doing so you're not fiddle faffing too much. Okay, just bear with me while I get my machine cut up. The great thing is, because I can cut this all in one go, I've just got another flower to cut after this, but nice and easy. Thanks for using the die. Sometimes you're not sure how to incorporate them. Ah, oh. well, I think they're always great for cutting out the flowers. You know, you've got, you then have dimensions. To your work. I must admit, I haven't used this one loads. Um, oh, <laughs> look, you know what that's done. I thought it'd cut a hole in the middle, but we can do that. That's okay. So all these little extra bits pop out, like so. I've got a couple of leaves here. I know you guys worry about me losing my dies. I'm just going to cut that last one out. I'm going to chuck these on my die plate. Look, they're going in there. All right, happy everybody? 
happy that I'm not going to lose my dies. Happy. <laughs> um, let's move these out of the way. One more and I'll be right back. In fact, I'm going to see if I've missed any comments. You could have used those dies to cut the aperture out on your box and card. Yes, I could have, but I didn't think about that at the time. All the joy of that. Thank you, Dix. Thank you if you're watching along for the first time. Did you know that you can live chat with me because you're watching now live? There should be a live... If you're signed into YouTube, there's a live chat button. Um, so I'm going to do that same old trick again and see if I can cut this out. See if I'm clear enough. Might not be. But this acts as a guide that basically chops out the whole centre. Oh, it's a bit daring, this. You didn't know, know I was going to do daring card making tonight, did you? Um, what size is that? That's two. Maybe I should go to the one and three quarter. <laughs> to be on the safe side. That's better. So much better. So I'm using my post-it note as a mask. Too close for comfort, indeed. And then I, this way I get to keep that lovely stitching detail. So if I feed my... Is it going to fit? <gasps> Look at that. Right, let's see if I can get this into place. Now, if you need an extra one, you can um, put a post-it note and attach it to the shape that you're cutting and use it as an extended arm. So if you put your post-it note there, it helps you to feed it in. That is much better. I'm glad that I didn't rush that, that bit of the process. So let's see what we're left with, shall we? Oh, that's nice. I've got a little bit of pink for my... Just poke that out, I don't want that. Right, let's bring the blue back in, the window sheet back in. I, want to, I like to see cards coming together. So we're gonna get rid of that pink. Um. Okay, so then we're going to add, oh, this is pretty. We're going to add some decoration around the frame and some leaves maybe on there. Um, no, let's just turn this over, see if we want it coming down. You got a date with a husband. Happy anniversary. Have a lovely time. Okay. Right, let's get this stuck down. We'll just make it up as we go along for the rest. Now, you forgot to tell me I've got to put the window sheet in, haven't I? I'm just going to put that across there. Cut it roughly there. Got two Cindy's in the house. I'm just going to use my snail because I've got it to hand. So I put a bit there around the circle. There we go, just like that. I'm going to put a window in here. I'm going to use. Sorry, am I commentating too much? Actually, let's. Oh, thank you. People are saying they love the colours. Can't go wrong with navy, isn't that right, Janice? <laughs> squiggle, squiggle. But wait, there's more. Stay where you are, folks. Got more to show you. So stick that down into place. Where's that gone? Where's that? That's at the back. That's all right then. <laughs> Got pink fluff floating around. Great. Look at that. I love the fact it's got a window. Bye. <laughs> now, grab your Tombow 
and if you push it in the middle of your poppy like this on your piercing mat look can you see what happens it squishes the flower and gives it nice um depth to it you could probably do the same with these ones as well give things a little bit of a texture same with our leaves we can't have flat leaves it's against the rules <laughs> Okay. Oh, where's my fancy fancy? Where's it gone? There you are, hiding. Now, with this, I can actually move it onto the card a bit more. It doesn't have to be right over that window. In fact, I'll do that. Yes, you'll be able to see a little bit on the other side, but do you know what? It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go on with a bit of wet glue. This is my preferred method using this multi-purpose liquid glue. So all these products you see here are available for my shop at stampinstarcreations.co.uk or you can request a catalogue if you're in the UK. And um, at the moment with a £45 spend you get a freebie of your choice from a selection. So you can see a little bit through it but that's okay. We're going to leave that as it is because it was a last minute decision. Okay, let's think about where we're going to have our poppies. I want you to be there. Big blob of glue. Stick you there somewhere. One down here. Can you guys see that? It'll dry clear anyway, that's right, yeah. Now, let's see where do we want our leaves. Maybe I should have done this the opposite direction. I'm not convinced about that, folks. Let's see what they look like. Sometimes it helps to look at it in the screen, it gives me a, an idea. I don't want it to look too straight up, straight down. I think around there would be better. Okay, let's get sticking. So if you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel. I do do lives and I upload videos, crafty videos, um, showing you what I do with these beautiful products and how to stretch your stamps, how to come up with some different ideas or how to incorporate different colour schemes into your projects. Now, I don't have a piece to hand, but... What I would do, oh, I could, oh no, I used it for my tag. What I would do is to um, pop a plain piece of, you just got to imagine, very vanilla in the back there. So you wouldn't see the, the Knight of Navy, it would be like that. So just be careful when you're writing in your card, that doesn't show. So you've got your card, you've got your box, and a tag that you've used from the centre there. So I have got another idea that I've been itching to try. So if you guys want to stick around while I just um, clean my stamps really quickly, then I'll be really pleased to have your company. If you've got any questions, now's a really good time to ask. Oh, uh, Kay says beautiful project. Thank you, Kay. Uh, what am I looking for? My chamois. I think, you know, it's a, oh, I haven't coloured in my poppies. Um, you know, lovely classic kind of colours. You know, I think, I do love a monochromatic, you know, I think if you can stick to a colour palette, you don't have to have loads of different colours and loads of different stamp sets. You know, it's a lot you can do with just one colour. And because you've got lots of shades within a colour as well, so. 
Hi there, Chris. Oh, you can't connect on your iPad. It is classic. And I think it's the very vanilla. So that's white. That would be a lot starker. It'd still go, but there's just something really classy about it being on the vanilla. And that makes a lovely, look at that, that completes like a, a lovely gift set already. In fact, I am tempted to maybe wrap this video up. I am, I must admit, I am flagging a bit. And what I might do is test out my other card and come back to you another time. I think I'm going to do that. Sorry to disappoint, but I think I do need to switch off for a bit. I've just done a Facebook Live and then I've come straight on here. So I think rather than rush it, I'll have a quick experiment. And I'll come back to you another time. So if you, I will load onto um, YouTube, but I'm just going to quickly show you what we've done over on um, Facebook Live if you're interested. So this is using the breathtaking bouquet using the pigment sprinkles. And we did some colouring in with the ink pads. And then after, after using pigment sprinkles on there, we got this just picking up the colour from the block. So um, yeah, either head over to Facebook and check that out or just stick around and subscribe on YouTube and I'll load that on there soon. Thank you so much, everybody. Beginning to think we have a shield over us. An hour up the road, he has snow. Daughter lives 20 minutes on the road and has snow and we have nothing. I love a bit of snow. Here I am, good evening, everybody. I'm wearing blue and white stripes as well. <laughs> Great to have your company. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And it's really nice to have you watching along with me, commenting along and just crafting with me, basically. So thank you so much for your time, everybody. Nazda, Wendy, thank you. I'm going to go and put my feet a little bit and maybe do some crochet or something else to switch off. Feeling a bit tired. First day back at work after half term. <laughs> so thank you go get another hot drink yes i will i've just got my tea to finish off here so thank you once again it's really great to have your company thank you for those thumbs up ah thank you Kay. <laughs> thank you i hope you've enjoyed tonight's project do head over to my facebook group if you're on facebook um at ssc inspired and created and um, where you can share product projects you have made with stamping up products a mouthful isn't it honeybee stamping hive i'm just about to go my lovely thank you so much for joining i'm sorry that I, I presume that you've just hopped on so um don't forget to hit that red but, um if you hit the bell as well you should get notifications of when i do come on live so take care everybody thank you so much for your time Mwah. lots of love i've got a low battery flagging up at me now so i better go take care god bless bye